Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first Q&A. In this video today, I'm going to be answering your questions and also starting all of my holiday wrapping. It is currently December 19th and I have not wrapped a single present yet, so I definitely need to get to that today, but I'm also really excited to answer your questions. So last week I put up a question box on my Instagram and you guys sent in your questions to me and I'm just going to address those and get to as many as I can. If you are not following me on Instagram, I would love for you to come join my Instagram fam and connect with me over there. I show up there a lot more frequently, almost every single day, and it's just a lot easier to engage with you guys directly on that platform. So before we start wrapping, I'm just going to answer one question and then we'll get to wrapping and then I'll just keep going like that. So the very first question that I received is, how do you do it having three kids and still having time to get yourself ready? Okay. <laughs> First of all, most days I do not get ready. Um, I pretty much only do hair and makeup for days that I am filming, and I often batch film videos back to back because time is limited. I do believe that you can make time for what you prioritize, and quite honestly, most days getting ready is not a priority for me. Um, sleep is my number one priority, and I do not wake up before my kids. A lot of people prioritize their quiet time in the morning or coffee by themselves or reading in the morning and wake up before their kids. I am not one of those people. My kids are my alarm clock every single day, and most days I do not get ready at all. You'll find me unshowered and in PJs just with, with the kids at home. On days that I either really want to get ready or days that I am filming or going somewhere, I either do it while my husband is still home um, and before he goes to work, or I have the kids in the room with me. So. Riley, who is only three months now, I will put her in a bouncer seat outside the bathroom shower door and I can see her while I am showering and I just engage with her while I'm getting ready, doing hair and makeup. And I usually have the kids in my room with something on on the TV um, so that they're nice and close. We live in a multi-floor um, home and I don't want them to be in the basement playroom while I'm in the shower. So I just have them come upstairs with their iPads or I'll put something on the TV and Riley is just in the bathroom with me. But pretty much, as I said, I do not shower, get ready, do hair and makeup every single day. It is just not my priority. <laughs> Sleep is my priority. Um, but I do believe that if you prioritize something, you can get it done. I mean, we don't have time to do a lot of things for ourselves if you are home full time with kids. But I do think that if getting ready is your priority, take 20, 30 minutes or however long it takes and get it done each day and that'll make you feel more fulfilled. If working out is your priority, take time, block off 20, 30 minutes before the kids wake up, while the kids are napping, whatever, and get it done. For me, I like to sleep in as late as possible. All right, so that was the first question and now I'm just gonna get into some wrapping. Um, I have this Mickey Mouse paper for Mason and this Paw Patrol paper for Gavin. If we need more, I also have this Charlie Brown paper. Um, this is all paper that we've had from last year. We had such an abundance that we're just going to use this all up and I didn't wanna bother buying separate new paper this year. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time. Okay, so I just managed to wrap three gifts in that time and I finished off the Mickey paper, so I figured we can just get into another question. I'm so happy to see that everything is going well with Riley. Any thoughts on baby number four? Well, <laughs> if you asked me a few months ago when I was still pregnant, I would have told you that we were completely done after Riley and three was our number. Well, if you ask my husband, that is still very true. He is totally done. I had to fight to go for the third and he has no plans whatsoever on a fourth baby. 
I have to say my heart has changed. Riley is such a sweetheart, such a good baby, and I love that newborn phase so much that in my heart, I think I want one more. <laughs> I might be crazy, we will see, but my husband is complete at three. I feel very fulfilled with three, but my heart is telling me one more, but we will see. We're just going to enjoy life as it is now, enjoy our three happy, healthy kids, and never say never, but we'll see where life takes us in a few years. All right, I'll just answer one more before I get back into wrapping. You obviously put a lot of effort into your current home. Is that your forever home or do you have plans on moving? Okay. Well, in short, this is not our forever home. When we purchased this home and moved in almost five years ago, we kind of had an eight to a 10 year plan in mind. Um, we were pregnant with Mason at the time and we loved the home, we loved the layout, we loved that we got to be involved in the design process, but we knew that we were more than likely going to want to move to a more private street and preferably in a different school district. Um, that is kind of why we thought eight to 10 years in our mind. Um, but who really knows when you move in? We love our home. This was a perfect and still is a perfect family home. We have brought all three of our kids home here and truly made it ours. But in, in our gut, we know that we're going to be moving at some point. We just do not know when, but no, this is not our forever home, but we definitely still love it dearly. Okay, back to wrapping. So I hope you're enjoying this. Um, let's get back to another question. Let's see. Where did you and your husband meet and how long have you been married? Okay, so this is a fun one. Um, my husband and I met at work. Um, it was my first job out of college and I had only been working there for a few months and he was a traveling sales guy so he was not in the office very often. Um, so I didn't meet him for the first few months that I was working there. But um, after a few months, we were together at a trade show out in California and we met there for the very first time. We were out in Anaheim. Um, so we met there and um, yeah, started out being friends, hanging out socially through work and it kind of just developed from there. So we met in 2012, got engaged in 2013 and married in 2015. So last June, we just celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary. So I know a lot of people do not recommend inter-office romances, and I had zero intentions of um, meeting my husband there, um, but it just kind of worked out that way. So that's kind of our story. Okay, so another Instagram question. Um, I really enjoyed your cleaning videos. Do you have any plans on bringing those back? So in short, yes, I definitely plan on bringing those back. I enjoy filming them and I know you guys enjoy watching them. Um, but the reason I just haven't really done it is because cleaning has not been my priority. I obviously just had a baby and things are hectic with the kids being home with me and my husband being home a lot of the time. Um, and just life is a lot different now in the pandemic and with the new baby than it was before. Um, I am no longer doing my long marathon cleans like I used to do. I used to just set up a camera and just go, 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 clean all day. And I can't really do that anymore. Um, my kids are home with me full time and I have a baby. So all of my cleaning kind of gets done in like 10 to 15 minute blocks over several days. So as I have time, I will, you know, clean the floors, mop the floors, whatever, 
or I'll clean the shower while I'm in the shower. Um, and everything is just a lot more segmented, which makes filming a little bit harder um, because oftentimes I don't plan ahead when I'm going to clean. I'm just like, oh, the baby's asleep. Let me go clean this. Um, and grabbing my camera really isn't the first thing that comes to mind. So that's kind of why I have not been showing those videos, but I know that they are requested and that you guys enjoy them. So I definitely will work on bringing those back. That kind of leads us into another question. So before I get back to wrapping, I will answer that. Um, do you have a nanny or anyone at home to help with the kids or do the kids go to daycare? Okay, no, no, and no. So the kids are not in school right now. Um, the plan was for Mason to be in school five afternoons a week and Gavin was going to go to preschool two afternoons a week, but that was all before COVID-19. Um, as it stands now, no one is in school, no one's at daycare, and I have no one coming into the house. Um, we never had a nanny. Um, back when I worked from home um, in marketing and I wasn't doing my blog or anything like that, um, the kids went to daycare two days a week so that I could, you know, um, cram in a lot of office hours on those days. Um, but we pulled them once I stopped working and um, they haven't really gone back since. So no nanny, um, no school, no daycare. That makes filming and working on my blog and stuff like that very difficult, um, but it's something that I enjoy doing. It's something that I prioritize, so I kind of squeeze it in as I can. Um, there might be days where you see me on Instagram a lot, and then there might be days where you don't see me very much. And that's just kind of because my schedule is very fluid. It has to be with my kids home. Um, but the pandemic has also allowed my husband to be home as well. So he's able to help out with the kids a lot more than he ever has been able to. Um, he can take them to his work or to grab lunch or something. And I will just like batch film back to back videos. Um, or he'll take them for a drive or just play with them out in the yard or in the basement while I'm doing something but no help, just me and my husband, and it's working, but we're definitely busy, and my schedule is kind of worked around the household schedule. So I have to keep shifting. All right, let's get to one more question. So what are some of your favorite stores to shop at? Well, that is an easy one. <laughs> For clothing, I would have to say Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. Um, Nordstrom Rack is my favorite place to buy jeans. They carry Paige, which is my favorite brand of jeans. Um, although I haven't been wearing jeans very much here at all. Um, but Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, along with Target and TJ Maxx. So I have a very basic comfy style. I wear leggings and sweatshirts a lot of the time when I'm home with the kids. Um, so those are probably my favorite stores to shop at. Um, I also have been buying a lot of clothing off of Amazon, especially um, maternity and postpartum things. And I've had pretty good luck on Amazon. Um, but that's probably it for that. Um, when I used to work full time, um, and had to dress like business casual and professional for meetings and things, I loved to shop at Loft and, um, New York and Company along with Nordstrom. So a lot of my work clothes came from there. 
and as far as like home decor stuff, um, home goods <laughs> is my favorite. Okay, so that's all the questions I'm probably gonna answer today. I didn't get a ton, quite frankly. Um, but I think I answered what, five or six. So that'll be it for that. Um, again, follow me on Instagram if you wanna engage with me, ask any more questions. I check my DMs all the time um, and I'd love to have you guys over there. Now we are going to stuff the stockings for the kids. These are their fun little ones. Um, yeah. So this is what I was able to get done today. Quite productive, not perfect, but it's done and I'm happy about that. This big gift over here is going to be completely unwrapped and out of the package and ready to go Christmas morning. They're gonna be so excited. So I was hoping to be able to give each boy their own paper, Gavin the Paw Patrol and Mason and the Mickey, but I ran short so they also have some Charlie Brown mixed in. Um, but they're gonna be so excited and then we have Riley's stuff over here pretty much everything is in her stocking since she can't unwrap anyways um, and then she'll have these two other little items so that is what I got done very productive super happy about it and now we just have some family gifts left to wrap so that's going to do it for today's wrap and chat video I hope you enjoyed my first little Q&A um, if you have not wrapped yet, I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration to do so. We are running out of time. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming along for the video today. Please go ahead and hit subscribe. Hop on over to Instagram and follow me over there if you are not already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.